What's up? How are you? Good, how are you? Pretty good. <laughs> Does it feel like a real trophy? It's actually really heavy. Oh, yeah. That sounds like Terrence's walk. What up? How are you? I'm spending the night. Hey. Who the hell is that? Mother Saga! Good to see you, coach. Good to see you. Finally arrived. It's a big weekend. The Lake Orville tournament, the Yakabass season opener. Tomorrow is our pre-tournament derby, and pre-tournament derby, for you guys that don't know, is the derby before the derby. It's also referred to as the Derby of Champions. The derby. most important derby. Doesn't always pay well. The bragging rights are through the roof. Uh, good luck to you guys tomorrow. Cheers, guys. Good luck, fellas. Just in fairness, you still have to take the motors off. You gonna knock him down today? Well, hopefully find something. No motor, no grab. Dude, look at that thing. Is that what they have in here? Interesting. Is there any like 18 inch fish in this lake? It's 16. Places like this, I think the key is just finding that general areas these fish are relating to. What's up? Hey. You catching them or what? Yeah. What about you? I have not had a single bite. Oh, fat one. Of course, the one area that seems to be the most productive is like the furthest from the ramp. Bloody lip. Ah, did I bring any comfies? Well, we found a bait and a color. The location, I mean, you can see what we're on right here. It's pretty obvious. This long tapering point, fish stacked all up on it. Yep. Yeah. Hey, right man? Yeah. Did you catch anything? Mine never even got a bite. I caught like 40. Uh, don't be looking. Coach, your day. I didn't catch any fish. <laughs> Alright, Mike, you wanna go? I had fun. Uh, it was a struggle. It wasn't easy. Santa Claus. So what cold up. with a 14 and a half. Uh-oh. Somebody's in trouble. So the first one I caught. Oh. Whoa, oh. that's a giant. So I need a 15 and a half to tie. 13 and a half. Terrence Sullivan, 2024 yeah. Lake Oroville, holy wow. classic. Fun derby guys, but we got a bigger tournament tomorrow. We've got Yakabass on Oroville. Cheers guys. Cheers, Cheers to Santa. Santa. Thank you. Santa. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Santa's crushing it. Yeah. Can I borrow some worms? Or have some worms? What's it like? Well, Bob, do you agree? You got a large? I told you, have one. That's not in there. It's in there. There's Thing. a bunch of receipts and a coffee cup. Yeah, there should be some in there. Or a black one, I made. Mean. Greg, can I borrow this color? Yeah, thank you. I'm gonna borrow these, okay, Greg? Thanks. Wanna come here real quick? What? So you wanna come here real quick? Yeah. I'm gonna do an intro for the uh, tournament. I'm here with the champion, guys. The uh, derby champion, last video, Mr. Terrence, AKA Beer Santa Sullivan, won the trophy, first one of 2024, and also you won the first tournament of 2024 at Rollins Lake. Yeah. How you feeling? Are you on a high right I'm, now? I'm on a high, yeah. Just kind of confident whenever I'm getting out on the water. I'm not letting it like bug me. You like try not to be nervous. Just yeah. like, just go have fun, fish, and just try to find them. Just look for fishy stuff. Yeah, you bet. You know? You've had good success so far. We're here at Orville, which is your home lake. Yep, yep. It's uh, what, about 30 minutes from launch today. So it's great. You know, we're all staying here at the duplex. And uh, uh, gotta give you a big shout out and thanks for uh, letting us get into yeah. the duplex. The brewery is literally like what, 50 yards away from yeah. us, not yeah. even. So we're here at Sierra Nevada Brewery in Chico, California. Here for the weekend, like I said, we just finished up our pre-fish and the derby for the new trophy. Mike made a pretty epic trophy, right Mike? That? You made a pretty great trophy. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Come here. Trophy. Come on, Slayer. Yeah. That's you what you're gonna do tomorrow. I'm you're a rat slayer. slayer. You made a great I trophy. The rats. You made a great trophy. Oh, thanks. Terrence took it home, but uh, tournament tomorrow. Orville, Yakabass season opener. First stop of 2024, a new season. It's exciting, and I've said this many times, but this is one of my favorite tournaments. And Even if you Orville. suck in the tournament, it's still a win, because we're here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah so it's the, a win-win. The only other gentleman with us is Coach. Terrence loves us so much that even though he lives two minutes away, he's staying with us. Yes, here. I, I think it was, it was a wise decision by my wife. Why don't you just <laughs> stay over at the 
brewery and you know we're probably gonna have a few beers and that way i don't have to drive home you get to park everything right behind the gate it's all protected yeah. uh, on the brewery property yeah. no excited and uh, i figured to start this video off we'd uh, do a little tour of the house we'll go to the brewery yeah. later but as you can see we've got all the kayaks right here the old tanny 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 Can man Jim. We've got my truck with this really terribly assembled battery box pretty nice yeah it's a high works. quality drill job That's looks right. like he used a saber tooth tie just face <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what but it works because i got the 100 foot extension cord going into the house yeah i don't have to take the batteries out from every compartment everything's charging the coach's car and truck is over there mike's got the trailer trailer boy that's great it's i great. like it it's actually pretty, pretty dialed good. it's good all right, so walk in the house. Mike, you want to give us a tour? Yeah, I need more than anything. So this is one of the Sierra Nevada duplexes that we frequent every year. Mm -hmm. This is a king-size dutcher bed. Yeah. This is a bam bed, smaller in size, but just complimenting his size. <laughs> TV. Uh, entertainment system. We got a coffee table. Oh, this is important right here. We got a cooler full of beer and stuff yeah. which we don't need with a refrigerator we have a lot of um this if you is, want to open this box this is greg's tackle shop this is a lot of power bait berkeley stuff in here Prime, it's all berkeley and apparently anybody can help themselves to it the <laughs> yeah so when greg's not paying attention i steal baits from him. there you go that's what friends do we got some extra rods over here we got my tackle box just full of bunch of crap oh what about the what we about got, the uh, high chair Oh, oh yeah, that. that's Mooney. I think his name's Mooney yeah, or something this, like that. When I came the other day, this was like that. We're charging up the, the power for the Mike's new board. Yeah. yeah. You've had this for like ever. Yeah, yeah, I think that's the only one I've ever When had. I first met you, that was exactly what you had. Yep, same thing. I changed a rod of things around. You got way. arts and crafts. Arts and crafts, that's for building arts and crafts. Sunglasses. Yeah, that way you don't forget them. They're always in there. We got over here is a trophy station. We got the latest Dark Horse Division trophy. Soon to Terrence, be poker. Soon to be poker table. Poker table. Yeah. Terrence is taking this home. We're saving this trophy to retire. We're all gonna fight for retirement once Alden's back, and hopefully Bam and Obadi's with us, so we can all have a fair crack at taking this home. And yeah. someone's gonna keep it. This, this one's full, so this one's done. That one's full. Mike made this new one. Very heavy. <coughs> it's a pass, man. Terrence claimed, obviously, as we said, the first Team Santa. First herb. Um, he won this. No, not true. Valentine's had, game. Um, he had a bad day today. He went to Walmart. Got some cameras. Oh, yeah. Cameras got right there. plenty of pale ale, and uh, there's also some other Sierra Nevada goodies in here. We got some hop splash. If you haven't have it, you should have it. It's delicious. Terrence, can you give us a little run through of the beers? Well, Porter, this Woo! is old, the best old, Porter ever old, made. Old school brought this back. This is one of my projects that I work on uh, at the brewery doing little specialty beers. Uh, this is Flipside Red IPA, an old fan favorite. Hazy little thing. We got a Magnum Edition Hop Bullet that's out on the shelves right now. That's a barn burner right there. That's 9.5 ABV. Come so on. watch out. This is a test brew that we packaged just a couple days ago and I brought that over for Greg to try. Mm. It's a hazy That's as well. Coming down here, we got our new trail pass. If you're looking for this, look at a Whole Foods. Uh, they're exclusively carrying they also um, it trail pass Joe's. and Trader Joe's. And then down here, juicy little thing. That's uh, one of our little things IPAs and it's more kind of juice forward. A lot of tropical notes. That we kind forgot of stuff. this. this. Oh yeah. Oh, Strange Beast. Strange Beast Mimosa. These are delicious. It's kombucha, so it's great for your tummy. I think it's like 6%, isn't it? So it's a good, good thing to have if you want to keep your gut biome good and your day happy. Yes. True. So I think maybe, I bet you I bet you a lot of people thought of this question while they were watching this. What is your favorite Sierra Nevada beer? The one in my hand. Wow. No. Uh, really actually, my, my favorite, He's been asked that my, uh, my favorite uh, Sierra Nevada is, is Celebration Ale, and it comes out once a year. It's it is, this so. big thing that we get fresh hops from Yakima. Uh, we bring them down and we start brewing as soon as we get those. And so we start brewing in September. It only lasts a certain amount of time. It's gone by the new year. It's just a great beer, greatly made. Pale Ale is my go to all the time, year I'm round. Have me a kombucha because so, my butt yeah. guy needs to be good. Uh, Wait, Mike, what's your favorite Sierra Nevada beer? Uh, uh, favorite of all time actually I like porters and I think yeah. this is the best porter ever made yeah. period yeah. everyone makes porters but Sierra Nevada makes the best porter is it my favorite beer I would probably say yes because I don't ever get it it's very rare we get it where I live and it's always delicious but celebration ale because I've been drinking celebration ale for at least I don't know 20 years or something it's a tie between porter and celebration ale I'm gonna go hazy little thing 
That'd be my choice. That's the best hazy, for sure. Yeah, I love yeah, hazy. Love it. and it's good. Not that it's not good out of the can, but oh I will say you get it at the brewery. On draft. On draft. Or you yeah. get it in the back special Ooh. treatment, like that yeah. one time. Oh, oh my yeah. god. It was like drinking nectar from a No, solid beers. Plant. That's why we enjoy them. Um, rest of the kitchen, what Let's else go. We have? Follow me, guys. So this comes fully stocked. This is a coffee maker. Very important right we here. We need that in the morning. And I already took the liberty of preparing the coffee. Greg's being the team mom since Alden's away this week. Shout out, Aldi. Shout out, Aldi. Uh, come on back here. This is where we sleep in stinks. Yeah. Uh, Mike's bedroom. This is my room. It's all in right. here. Got some Slayer shirts. Got some. I'm people, wearing a Slayer people shirt. People appreciate your Slayer shirts. That's because Slayer is pretty much one of the best bands ever out in existence of all time. Slayer and Primus and just good stuff. Got some weather gear in here for tomorrow because it's supposed to rain all day. Got um, some snacks in that bag. This is a bed I sleep in. That's comfortable. Don't oh, forget one of the key rooms. One of the key rooms when you're actually oh. out for a few days expecting rain. Great to have a washer and When dryer. I got here the other day, first thing I did, put a bunch of clothes in the dryer. Nice. It was clutch. Nice. All right, this is... Here we got Greg Blanchero's room. As you can see, there's a bunch of filming nonsense. There's probably like 30 cameras in here. That we don't see. <laughs> Just in case you're not into TV and you want to get a good read in, go ahead and start reading that. We also have some rain gear down here. That looks like it's not really being taken care of. It should be hung up, not just balled up on the ground. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Let's go in the bathroom. Let's go check the bathroom. Yeah, bathroom. Dutcher's in the bathroom. You're showering. Is he? Let's go see. No. Dutcher? Okay. No. Oh, he is in there. <laughs> All right. Uh, and he's naked. Close the door. All right, and this is uh, the master bedroom. I don't want to have to use the blur effect again. This is where Terrence is staying for the weekend. His wife graciously let him yeah. stay with us instead of with her, which is probably a treat for her. Yeah. It's also a treat for she, us. So well, it's a she's, on a, she's on a four-day weekend. She was dancing on, on a Thursday win. morning. We went. And I'm like, wins. what are you so happy about? She goes, four-day weekend. And then I said, yeah, and I'm staying elsewhere. And she's like, even better <laughs> for her. This is where Terrence snores, and he also sleeps naked. Old naked white man, as Obadi Williams likes to call. Well, he's the champ. He can do whatever he yeah, wants. That's true. Over here is his place where he brushes his teeth, probably. This is an interesting layout because this actually there's it's no a Jack and Jill bathroom, bathroom or toilet in here. It's just a closet. Shower, so you got... Yeah, that's what we we're trying to get at. Oh, there he is. He's got clothes on. All right. Thank God. So this connects. To, I don't know. I don't know why we're showing you the bathroom. Right? Yeah, it's, 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 it's fun though. Uh, this is like the old days when we used to do the MTV cribs. That's why they call them dude. Uh, coach is here. He's fresh. Hey, how you, are you? You feeling better? Yeah. It was yeah. a tough day today for you fishing wise. Oh man, I had a little mental breakdown. Oh, yeah. Doesn't matter though. Tomorrow's turn. Yeah. 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 If I don't catch a limit yeah. and finish the top 25, I'm done. I'm out. What? No, yeah. no, no. Come on. What's so the never risk? Finishing in the top 25, you don't cash a check. That's just like saying, hey, I was there, cool. Yeah, but if you finish in the bottom 25, you're a loser. That's fair. <laughs> all right, well, you're gonna have a better day tomorrow. You used all your bad luck today. Um, yeah, that is the uh, house tour. Did you show them my bedroom? Yeah, yeah. we already showed them all Oh yeah, your bedroom. In the yeah. potty stains you left. <laughs> so as mentioned, tomorrow is Yakaba stop number one, Lake Orville. Today's pre-fish was oh, tough, 13 to 15 inch fish. Or I'm gonna say actually 13 to 14 inch fish seem to be the norm. So those 15, 16, 17 inch fish. I hope they're biting tomorrow. That's all I hope. I've been going to the gym every day. I said, coach, you just call Rock. You're solid. Very solid. What All right, fuck? before things get uh, too crazy here, I am going to end this. We're going to head to dinner soon once Terrence gets out of the shower. I guess uh, before this tournament starts, we'll give you a little peek into uh, what we do before these derbies. <laughs> Are we going for the exact same point? Go ahead, I'll, I'll no, no, I was gonna say, do you want to share it? Yeah, go ahead. No, let's just share it, dude. I don't care. Good. It's it's your call. You got here first. No, 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 no. Yeah, it's dude. It comes out way out here. 
Yeah. Let's get him fired up. <laughs> Man, that's a long run. 42 minutes going 5.2 miles an hour. That took way too long. I thought it was like 30 minutes. Dude, honestly, you got here first. So if you, you slide in if you want, I'll just, fi I'm gonna just fish around it pretty much. All right, here we go. 43 minute run. It's good to make note of it for later. It's gonna be an interesting one. I mean, I'm going for something bigger, but I might as well go with what was working yesterday. Five keepers would be nice. Benchmark for it would be 75 inches. Anything above 75 would be a bonus. 15 inches were hard to come by yesterday. See my bait? Oh God, are you kidding me? Still there. Sitting on this long point out here. Extends out, kind of tapered. They were finicky yesterday, but eventually they'd eat. Probably a 13 incher. Look at that. All about this size. 13 inches galore. Dude, I'm telling you, slide on up here, man. Just. Yeah, I mean, they're all around it. All right, number one. <laughs> Little guy, but he's fat. Dead stick and flatworm, Gobiyashi, seem to be the bait color of choice. Like they're biting the tail. It's uh, three miss fish. This is what they're eating right here. It's a little smelt. They're just like gorged full of them. I think they're so fat. I kind of don't even know they need to eat. Not cooperating so far. Might have to move on in a little bit if it doesn't happen. Some bites early on, but it's been pretty quiet since then. Shrunk. Very shrunk. That's not even a keeper. I don't think that even keeps. Nope. that size we're not staying here for sure the fish I'm looking for. <laughs> hey, whatever. I'll take him right now. We gotta get five first. A little 
baby. Keep the line wet while you're retying, if possible. No harm in doing it. Every so often, pick up your rod, I can see if there's a fish on. It's probably a productive, actually, way to fish because everything is dead sticking so far, and these fish want it on the dead stick, it seems. You can see them on the graph. They're just a little fickle. Still, I'm curious to see what these fish do when that weather starts to come through. Surprise, it's still not raining. I thought it was supposed to rain all day. I mean, it's going to come when that wind picks up. It's it a little uh, churned up over here. I wonder if these fish will start to bite. Please be the keeper. He's not good, man. He's not hooking with these fish. He must be getting the back of the worm or something. I cannot believe how many I've lost. Man, these fish are not the size we need. That might actually be a keeper. Maybe it's getting bigger. I might be able to net one for me. Alright, there we go. Please be a 15 incher. We need 15 inchers. Come here, dude. We need you. There's one of the right ones. Okay, maybe we'll have to stay here a little bit longer. If the better ones exist down there, then we might have to grind them out. Yeah, that's a. It's one of the ones you need right there. Whew, okay, finally got something of size. Alright. There's a good one right there. Okay, four more of those. <laughs> I mean, that's definitely a tall task but hey you just never know i do feel like spots tend to group up based on size as you can see we're catching all those micros maybe there's a better quality fish swimming around here somewhere feels like another okay one yeah uh -oh. did we run into a better school that would be super dandy. There's another keeper. See, I bet you it's just a different school of swimming around here we have to run into. Well, he's okay. I thought he was bigger. I thought you were bigger, dude. Keeper at least. Alright, 14. Got him to touch 14. And I was just about to leave the spot too. Might have to grind it out a little bit longer. They're getting bigger. <laughs> little one's pulling at it. Little one's pulling at it. Yeah, 
that one was shallow, dude. It's not a bad one either. It's just fat. Number five, we gotta net him. Alright, well, there's a limit. Still not the right size, but there's a limit. It's always objective number one in the tournament, or one of the main objectives. Those five fish. Could be a hint, too, because that guy is like less than 10 foot. Thirteen and a quarter. All right, so what do I gotta call now? Well, I gotta call four of those fish for sure. I think our small one's like twelve and a quarter. Got a couple of twelve and change, so let's get rid of those guys first. Should be a call. See these fish, I feel like they're just short and fat, a lot of them. I feel, ooh, you know what, that's actually not bad at all. That's what we need. Could be a 14, 15 incher. There we go. Yeah, see these fish have weight to them. Short and fat, not necessarily what we like, kayak bass fishing wise. Fun fish, not very long. Mm, see, look how fat they are. Footballs, it'll call though, it might be 14. <laughs> Just a chunk. Yeah, 14 and a half. The bellies, look at the backs. Thick backs. Well, like I said, the last three or four fish we've caught have all been a little bit better size, so maybe the better fish are getting active now. Still got to get rid of that 12, and I think we got a 12 and a 13 in there somewhere. Our three good fish are 14 and a half, 14, and 16 plus. And 75 inches is the first goal, first mark to hit, in my opinion, for this lake. And then after 75, you try to hit 80, and then anything after 80 is really a bonus. Anything after 75 is a bonus, to be honest. Feels a little. Can't really tell. Did you get bigger? They might have got bigger. I love it when they get bigger. Yeah, I get a Got another fat one. Just short. I'm not even sure. Bigger the keeper. And well, I gotta get rid of. Let's take a photo just in case. I don't even want to check my phone. I'll just take a photo of this fish. Just for good measure. 13 incher. I'll start organizing my photos before I get. I mean, it's a good problem to have before I get maybe a million photos in my camera roll, and then it's hard to sort them out. I usually just create an album and add the best five to the album. And then as you call, you can delete them, add them afterwards, and then when you're ready to upload them to Tourney X, you can just go to your album and have your five fish there. Much easier way to do it. <sighs> 10 o'clock. I don't know. Do I grind it out on this spot most of the day, or do I take a gamble and move somewhere else and check it later? That one big fish, or a couple of decent fish, the one bigger one though, that's the one that's keeping me here, just to give me hope that maybe I'll run across another one like that. It's almost 10.30, I'm curious. Obviously, I haven't submitted any of my fish yet to Tourney X, but I am curious to see what kind of fish are being posted right now. Looking at the standings can give you a little sense as to what the bite's like and what you might need to do well. 
Okay, so that's kind of what I expected right there. So right now 71 inches is leading, 71 and a quarter. We might have that, but the big thing is you're looking at all these people and their largest fish, 14, 15, 16 and a half, or 16 and a quarter, 14, 13, 5 0. I don't even see a 17 inch fish being posted yet. That's crazy. So yeah, I mean, looks like it's similar to my day. A lot of small fish. So that makes me, I don't know, kind of want to stay here a little bit longer. Just don't see anything else similar to this. This is the one long tapering point in this part of the lake that obviously has fish on it. And there's nothing else like it around me. Maybe one sort of like it in the back. But you look around, all these cliffs and walls. Maybe 20 yards off the bank, you're in like 40 foot. It's crazy. This is the only feature like this in this area. So that's why I don't really want to leave it. I don't think I could find another thing like this. just don't know if that would be a wise decision right now, especially when we're getting bites every so often. It's definitely slowed down, but still able to pick a fish up here and there. I mean, you can see our track right here. We've uh, <laughs> definitely circled this a few times. Well, maybe mix it up on them, throw something different. Shaky head bite. Probably a small one. Probably grab the tail, right? You know, I should downsize, but at the same time, I think it's actually good to have like this bigger, beefier presentation. Because I think it'll be a better shot at maybe catching a big one or a better one. There's a bite. Yeah, they're just punching it. They're not eating it. Oh, <laughs> got a weedless Ned rig now. Well, at least they're eating it. Giving them a little different look. I'm sure I've shown every fish down there my drop shot by now. That's a good, good one too. Maybe the better ones will eat the shaky. Let's see, that's a good one. Stay on. That's good. Oh, yeah, dude, that's good. Yeah. yeah. We found a way maybe to call some fish. Interesting. Got him to touch 16. Whew. Oh, that was exciting. That was exciting. After having so many swings and misses, and then finally when you swing and you feel the rod load up, that's that's nice. Alright, well, glad I got some confidence with the shaky head at Shasta. Might be a player today. Kids getting bit. Just bite right there. Eat the whole thing, right? Ooh, that felt better. Son of a gun, that felt better. You never know, I guess, but that did feel better. Oof. I'll do that again. Big? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, that's a call. Yeah, that was a weird bite. Yeah, gotta get rid of a 13 and a quarter. Mm. It's gonna be close. 
Oh, I think you're gonna call me up a quarter inch. Every quarter inch counts, especially in tournaments like these. Alright, quarter inch call. Come on, old shaky. Alright, now I gotta get rid of that 13 and a half. Man, one of the greatest things that could happen right now is if we got rid of that 13 and a half with like a kicker fish. I'm considering a kicker fish a 16, 17 inch fish right now. That would be like a four inch call. Be massive. Please be a big one. I think it's big. Oh, he's turning the boat. He's big. That's one of the ones. That's one of the ones. I didn't even feel that bite, dude. Oh, man. That's all jacked up. Come here, come here, come here. Yes. Oh my God, it's been a long time since I had a bite, but if they're gonna be that size, it's okay. Uh, just a fat one though. Just a fatty. It's just, I don't even know if that's gonna hit 15 inches. At least it'll get rid of that 13. Oh yes, yeah, 15, thank you. All right. Look how fat these fish are though. Isn't that wild? Fourteen and a fourteen five oh. Get rid of those guys and we'll have in the mid seventies. Yeah, I thought that one was way bigger. They're just they're so fat and muscly. <laughs> That's a good one. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh my god, I almost goofed that up. Yes, that is the one we needed right there. Oh, that is a good one. That one's gonna go a long way. Oh my gosh, that's a big one. That's a big one right there. And the bait came out of the mouth. Holy smokes. That settles it. I'm staying here the rest of the day. No questions. You touch 17, I will be so happy. All right, baby. There's one of the ones right there. Oh, I needed you so bad. That gets me excited right there. That gets me excited. Oh my god, getting antsy. The bite has been so subtle today too. I mean, the only bites I've really felt have been on the shaky end, and some I haven't even felt. These fish are just around this point, hugging the bottom. And I mean, you can see there's a bunch of these dead smelt floating up. So I'm sure they're just like engorged with them. They're not hungry, but sometimes when this goes by them, they'll just suck it in. And I think that's how I'm getting bit. Treat you like you're gonna call. Got all my photos up a little turning axe. Ooh. Will that get rid of our 14 and a half? I don't think so. I don't think so. Mm. No, I don't think you are. Ooh, 15. 
little call, little call. Ah. All right, we gotta get rid of 15 inch now. It's a good problem to have. Fifteen. Doesn't feel that big. Kind of knowing they're big, big, but uh, let them just in case. Well, he might call a fifteen. Actually, I'll be close. Man, he's got a, so much weight to him. So much weight. Mm, I don't think so. Actually, I do not think so. Fifteen. Nope. 14.75. Damn, the shaky head dude is <laughs> definitely fewer bites, but they're the right bites. There's those gusts. Last cast, last cast. 2.30, last cast. Made a promise, last cast. All right guys, 231, gonna head in. About a 40, 45 minute ride to the ramp. Get checked out at Tourney X, all the photos submitted. Make the 30 minute drive to the award ceremony, but either way, I will see you guys back at the house, at the brewery, and we'll recap the first Yakabass tournament of 2024 here at Oroville. Not a bad day. fish until nine o'clock yesterday man up stay on the damn boat and quit being a crybaby and he did fall through and he slam dunked it well, i don't know if it slammed up but it was like a I slammed dunked layout. on like an eight foot rim yeah uh, it was a layout <laughs> it could have been a layout that got swatted be careful table oh sorry yeah don't bang the table so you got a better day today coach well not really but yeah started out Really slow, really slow. He was traveling slow, man. <laughs> it was the slowest day I've ever seen, bro. So, yeah, I caught an 11 incher, and then at one o'clock, I made an adjustment and changed up what I was doing. Well, I was throwing an underspin, and I kept getting weird bites, and like weren't really committing to it. They were just like taking off with them. You'd set the hook, there wouldn't be anything there. And... Wait, you were throwing an underspin? Yeah. Uh, weird. Did so you get a limit? limit? No. Oh. No limit soldier. I caught my fourth fish at like 252 or 253 and I thought I was gonna do the Blanchard last second heroics. There's only one Blanchard, bro. Uh, yeah. Well today I didn't pull my classic last minute heroics. I really just went to the one spot I found yesterday, Long Point, fished it the entire day. I don't think I left one time. It's interesting, this point is the only like long tapering point that I could see in the whole vicinity. I was just literally throwing onto it, letting my drop shot dead stick. I, you know, I caught a small limit doing it, but the biggest uh, change or key moment was when I changed over to a shaky head, five inch worm, and they started eating it good. Not as many bites, but when one got it, it was a better fish. And I don't know, I chipped away and got, I think 79, three quarters, something like that. Good enough for Second place, so very fortunate to uh, have those bites, put them in the boat. 79 in second place. Thank you very much. Oh, and as we transition to Santa, we gotta give a big shout out. They gave away his first place, Rollins turned Woo! Special yeah. first and not last. And I wasn't dub. there to receive it. I accepted thanks, it. I accepted it on Santa's behalf. Santa won the first tournament, the Gambler Series tournament. See, there's a world. guy riding a fish. Yeah. Huh. So Dude. your first piece of hardware. My first piece of hardware. Where's, yep. where's it yep. going? Where well, it going? Um, either either the garage or uh, it might go into our spare room slash office slash man cave. I'm glad you finally got your first piece of hardware. Yeah. 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 So it's it's officially official now. Yeah. yeah. Well, as I was telling you guys, I was gonna. 
gonna put a little little X over the, the fourth. The fourth. <laughs> hey, Wins a win. Yeah. All right, moving on to your day today. Today was not as good as Rollins. Kind of ironic. I, I have mentioned that um, <sighs> something happened. No. Nope, she's gone. She gone. Camera's too hot. GoPro suck. There's got to be another camera out there. I will invent a camera company that works called No Pro. How is it too hot? It's a good question. Time out. Feel how hot that battery is. It's like a little tater tot. Oh my god. Oh jeez. Dude, that ain't that right. That'll burn you. It's a little cold. All right, hang on. I'll be honest. Well, what I was gonna say. Oh, that's what we should do on on top of the trophy. Mm, put a GoPro. Put a GoPro mount. mount. And then you could just. On it right there, and it's always sturdy. Just put a ball right? mount up Let's, there. Oh, yeah. You see that, Greg? We're gonna put a GoPro <laughs> mount that we always have. That would be good. A it's solid like mount. I would think so. Okay. All right, we're back in business. There we go. All right, you're done. Right. Yeah, I figured something out yesterday, and I got a limit yesterday, and today that pattern did not hold true. I was kicking with the underspin, and I, I just didn't find any. Total catching. inches. Total inches was 27 and a half. It's almost a yard. It's almost, about a foot and a couple yeah. inches short of a yard. You came back so. down to earth. I came back down to earth, yeah. That was <laughs> uh, you win some and you lose a lot. I know, I know. All right, Michael, your day. Uh, I had a great day. No. I struggled, same thing. Bite change for you? Yeah, the fish just weren't where they're located before. It changed, the bite changed. I was fishing an underspin yesterday. Today, they're just nipping at, ripping the tail off, so I took the blade off and started catching fish. Interesting. And then changed the color as well. I forgot to mention a bunch of my drop, I've never missed so many drop shot fish and it was because they were just eating the tail. Yeah, I lost, yeah. I, I went through like, two packs of Kitex. Yeah. Cause they, they, what's crazy too is, I had one right here, they bite it. They must've been coming out sideways because they bite it. like. Like that and there'd be a chunk on there I'm I, like how is that even i possible? think probably most likely i think the fish that i was catching on that point they were so fat and full of those little smell oh, yeah. every time i would just drag my bait or dead stick it it would just go by one and then just be like and then like, yeah. sometimes they get a little piece of it it's like a human being in yeah. a drive but through a I taco think, bell <laughs> yeah they but, made a wrong turn they just ate round table or something and they're like i'm in the drive well i might as well there was uh 20, but 22 skunks today? Yeah. I believe it. I mean, if you aren't dragging or drop yeah. shotting, dead sticking. Dude, my phone's not working. It, dude, look, it's just doing its own thing. No, I think this is an interesting. I don't know if it works for soft people's thumbs. I Did you go to eBay again? I got past them. Dude, I got just wrinkly finger. SD card full. All right, we're just going to finish it with this camera. We're just, uh, I'm just having problems with cameras right now. The cameras are tired too. Yeah. <laughs> They've been working overtime. This is like fourth, fifth day in a row. Ghost just came. And ghosts of Sierra Nevada's past. Gents. Don't put that in the video. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Gonna close her out for us. Close her out. Uh, good first tournament. Got our hardware. So far, actually, a great year for the Dark Horse. Stay tuned because I think these two guys over here. That's just They're kindness. Due. There's no such thing as due. There's Come on. such thing as earned. Well, earned. And you earned. And your due. Oh, right. victory. Well, cheers to that, guys. Yeah. Cheers to that. As always, thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Cheers. Keep it classy.